Dear students, welcome to the problem solving session on Lorentz series part 1 continued. In the first video, we have started to learn what is the definition of Lorentz series and all the basic formulas and definitions and preliminaries which is helpful for our problem solving. We just see the definition, we learn what is analytic part and principal part etc. And then we recall some basics on partial fractions which is helpful to solve in the problems. Also the identities which is helpful to express the given problem in terms of a Lorentz series. And we see these examples and we start with this problem. Expand the Lorentz series for a given function f of z for three different regions. In the first video we have cracked the first region mod z less than 1. And in this video we are going to crack the remaining two regions. And we found the solution for the first region using the formulae. The second given region is mod z lies between 1 to 2. In this situation, we have to split the problem like in this situation, we have to split this into 2. First, you take the left side, that is 1 less than mod z. Next, take the other one, mod z less than 2. Now, my ultimate aim is bring everything like modulus of something in the left hand side that is less than 1. Here I can write this as 1 by mod z is less than 1. Well, we can write this as modulus of 1 by z is less than 1. And now for the second data mod z is less than 2. I can write this as modulus of z by 2 is less than 1. So we have modulus of z by 2 is less than 1. So I have two valid regions. The first one is I can express this as modulus of 1 by z less than 1 or modulus of z by 2 less than 1. Now let us go into the solution for this region. This is my valid region. So I have to express my f of z either in terms of 1 by z or z by 2. Let us write the f of z from equation 1. So here either I have to bring 1 by z or I have to bring z by 2. So minus 1, I have z minus 1. So I have to bring 1 by z. So I will take z outside. So 1 minus 1 by z. Now I get the valid content. And for the second part, I want I want z by 2. So now I should not take this z. I have to take 2 outside. When I go outside, we get z by 2 minus 1. Here I can cancel this 2, but whenever we express the formula, we need 1 minus x power something like this. So I will take 1 minus outside from the second term and we can represent this as minus 1 by z into 1 minus 1 by z. When I take minus outside, it becomes 1 minus z by 2. See my valid regions modulus of 1 by z less than 1 and modulus of z by 2 less than 1. And here I can see same thing follows. We have 1 by z and z by 2. So now finally take the denominator up. We have minus 1 by z. 1 minus 1 by z whole power minus 1 minus 1 minus z by 2 whole power minus 1. So this is done student. Now we have to apply the formula session that is step 2. We can express this as 1 plus 1 by z plus 1 by z whole square etc up to infinity. Similarly, the second term is 1 plus z by 2 plus z by 2 whole square etc. And finally, we have to write in terms of the Lorentz series. So n equal to 0 to infinity. Here everything is positive. So I can write this as 1 by z whole for n and the second one n equal to 0 to infinity z by 2 whole power n. And what is important? I have to mention the region. So we have to write this as where modulus of 1 by z less than 1 and modulus of z by 2 less than 1. So for the given region mod z lying between 1 to 2, I can express this f of z as the Lorentz series. Hope you understand students. And finally, we have the third term mod z is greater than 2. Don't scare by seeing this because we always have a mind I said bring something less than 1. We can easily convert this also. So mod z greater than 2, I can simply write this as 2 less than mod z. Now this is nothing. 
I will bring this mod z to the denominator. We have 2 by mod z less than 1. And finally, we have modulus of 2 by z less than 1. Done. Now, it is very important. I have to mark the region for the given function f of z. So, let us write the function. From the function, we have to fix the region or rearrange the region. See here, z minus 2 is there. So, what can I do? If I take z outside, immediately I will get 1 minus 2 by z and we have a valid region. Good. But what about this z minus 1? So we have to think of. Now see, if modulus of 2 by z is less than 1, I can write this as 2 times modulus of 1 by z less than 1. If 2 times a positive value is less than 1, it is obvious this value is less than 1. Hope you understand students. So if 2 times modulus of 1 by z is less than 1, then simply modulus of 1 by z is also less than 1. So now this justification will help us to crack this first part. You understand? In exam, suppose we are getting modulus of 3 by z is less than 1. Then you can say modulus of 2 by z is less than 1. Modulus of 1 by z is also less than 1. So all the values lesser than 3, the inequality holds. Now with this idea, I am going to take two valid regions. Modulus of 2 by z less than 1 and modulus of 1 by z less than 1. Now I will take z outside from the first term, we get z into 1 minus 1 by z. And in the second term, I will take the z outside again, we get 1 minus 2 by z. We have 1 by z, 2 by z, satisfying these two. Now taking this to numerator, we have minus 1 by z, 1 minus 1 by z, whole power minus 1, plus 2 by z, 1 minus 2 by z, whole power minus 1. Now go back to the step 2, that is formulae, and apply the formula to get the Lorentz series. So I can express this as minus 1 by z, 1 plus 1 by z, plus 1 by z whole square, etc. up to infinity. Second one is 2 by z, 1 plus 2 by z, plus 2 by z whole square, etc. up to infinity. Now, I can express this as summation minus 1 by z, summation n equal to 0 to infinity. All terms are positive, so I can write this as 1 by z whole power n. Similarly, 2 by z, summation n equal to 0 to infinity. 2 by z whole power n. Very important is we have to write the valid region modulus of 1 by z less than 1 and modulus of 2 by z less than 1. So, for all the three regions given to us, we have expressed the f of z as Lorentz series. Hope you understand this problem, students. So, now you are confident to crack any problem on Lorentz series. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. Subscribe to our channel and share it to your friends. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.